Sergi. Thanks for joining me, mate. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good, don't you? Not too bad, thanks. So last time we spoke, I don't want to keep thinking about the past. I know we're looking forward now, but yes. we were sat over there. Yeah. It was after the Bournemouth game, ahead of that playoff final. You said to me that Bournemouth game was the best game you've ever played in. Yeah. Still the case? I think so, yeah. I mean, obviously playing at Wembley, uh, you know, the fact that we went up, uh, my, you know, my mum and my sister in the stands, and not all the Brentford uh, fans at Wembley and winning the promotion, well, that was special. But the the way that we won the game against Bournemouth to get to where we are today, I think it's yeah, it's been the best best game I've ever played with fans because you know it was a bit emotional. Everyone was back, and we the the way that we we won the game as a one. Yeah. It's it's the best, yeah, the best for me. We we got a little bit emotional. Remember that day, talking about what could be with Wembley, yeah. and obviously it did happen. Yeah. Can you cast your mind back to that feeling at the full time whistle, and how did it compare to what you thought it would feel like? Well, you know, you I I'm a I consider myself a dreamer, and I always go to sleep, and I think, you know, always ahead, and oh, what a what if we do it and what if, if if it happens and you start thinking about and to be fair it's it was all you know all of a sudden you know all of a sudden the ref blows the whistle you are in Premier League everyone's jumping everyone is celebrating I you know I, I get still you know that because uh, that's what we've been working for a lot like a long time and and me especially when I when I left Liverpool, uh, I knew that I had to to go two steps backwards to make a big step uh, forward. And my granddad didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> my granddad didn't want me to to move from Liverpool, but because he he thought you know the stability of Liverpool, big club, and but yeah, it all paid paid off that day at Wembley. It's, it's that, that's it, isn't it? It's in life sometimes you have to take a different path to get to the destination. And I guess that makes it so much more poignant that yeah. you've got to the way you want it to be and that's a Premier League player now. Yeah, I think, I think you have to risk uh, sometimes to, to get what you want. And sometimes you risk and you don't win anything. But when you risk and you give everything, and literally we gave everything and you get it, then it's you're happier, you know, like yeah. you, you enjoy it more, I think. And now, like we say, we're going to the, to the Premier League season. We've got one more friendly and it's a, it's a game that means a lot to you, yes, right? Because yes. uh, Valencia is a club close to your heart. Yeah, well, it's my club. Uh, I mean, Brentford is my club, obviously, <laughs> but, you know, I grow up uh, watching Valencia, grow up watching Mata, Silva, Villa in, uh, in Mestalla, and I, I, I used to, you know, get my sandwich uh, on Wednesday night. I go to to the Valencia. Uh, we had a Valencia place uh, in ho my hometown where all the Valencia fans used to go, and we used to watch, uh, you know, the Champions League games and all that. And I was like this, you know, I was six, seven years old, and you know, for me to face Valencia, I know it's a friendly, but you know, it's special. You know, it's like yeah. now. You know my my dream of uh, you know watching Valencia, and so yeah, it, it will be very special. So you might have been in the away end if if you were in England. Yes. <laughs> yeah, uh, probably. Have you ever played against them at like senior level before or anything? Not no. senior, no. But I used to play. I yeah, I played against them when we were younger. You uh, felt weird. In Barça, yeah, in Barcelona and Espanyol. Yeah, it felt weird, but you know you are young and you play against. You know everyone, so it's yeah. it doesn't matter the, the shirt you're on. <laughs> but yeah, now it's gonna be very special. Will you celebrate if you score? I don't know. I, I probably do. Uh, yeah, I probably do. You know how I am. <laughs> and the fans are back. You know, we we got our our people. So yeah, I would would probably celebrate. <laughs> but it's a friendly. So <laughs> um, what can we expect from Valencia? Because there might be a lot of fans that, that kind of don't know, and they're a club that maybe we've not seen so much of lately yeah no l lately he's been a bit uh, 
disappointing, uh, but I think they are getting there now. They got a new manager and they they're doing really well in pre-season and uh, they're working hard uh, and they are. I mean, I feel like say we are. You know, but <laughs> they are. Uh, you stopped yourself there. <laughs> they are a big club, you know. Uh, Valencia is a big club. It's um, a city. Uh, we we won trophies. We won leagues. We won. Uh, we, day one. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's uh, fantastic to to play against them, and it's going to be a very good test for us uh, to go forward. It's an it's the last game of full Premier League, like we said, and we know what's coming in the Premier League, VAR. Yes. And VAR's there yeah, on I know. Saturday. They, yeah, they were talking about it today. Well, you had some issues with VAR at St George's, didn't you? I did, yes, yes. Joe and Jack. Yeah, but I hope we have better referees than them, please. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. Because they were off the analysis camera yeah. and you were not happy, were you, whatsoever? Yeah. No, I wasn't happy, you know. The, the calls they made, they're so bad. But, OK, we leave it there. At least we'll have Stockley Park to deal yeah. with it. And hopefully next season we won't yeah. be worried about VAR. I can't wait to see you in the Premier League, mate. Thank you. Top man, cheers. Thank you.